Hello and welcome to another episode of Project Supercar and today we're going to push this thing out and hopefully start stripping the front end. Well there's a switch, let's have some hailstones. Well, it's not raining. This is the reason I wanted to keep the donor car in the carport. At least it's nice and dry. Well, hopefully it doesn't rain. So I think what we'll do is we'll just push the car out so th that we can work on it. But it is a heavy old girl, so I'm gonna need a hand. Yes, I am here to help. <laughs> so I've got my friend here, Clive. He's going to push the car out and we're going to start stripping the front end. I'm going to see if I can pull this headlight out before having to remove the bumper like I have to do on my newer Audi. It's just a couple of screws in the top. Now, I don't think this thing is designed to come off. Um, we'll come back to this. So I think we'll give up on the headlight for now. We'll pull the bonnet off and uh, carry on with the strip down of this car. We just need to remove these plastic covers. Then I'll unclip the gas strut. out of space to put all these Audi parts. <laughs> yeah, do you want to buy some? <laughs> all right, with the bonnet off, I think we'll jack this car up, take the wheels off, and then we can start taking the inner liners off, and then the bumper, the headlights, and the wing. I'll just remove these screws and then I can remove the plastic liner inside the wheel arch and then hopefully 
that should give me access to removing the front bumper. I think I'll just remove this water bottle so I can get a better look inside the front bumper. Oh look, there's one of the intercoolers. Now I'm going to have to figure out how to take this bumper off. So uh, yeah, this is going to take some investigating. I've just removed the two screws and removed the fog lamps. Well, I found another screw behind the headlamp and you've got to reach for it with a long extension. Hopefully you can make that out. There you are, all the way through to there. This one looks a little bit broken, so someone's been here before me. No, looks like the headlight still doesn't want to come out. I don't want to force it. Now there's a couple of long bolts, about this long, and they live just inside here. They go up into the frame of the car. The bumper is bolted to the wing with three bolts. If you reach in on the inside, you can undo the nuts. Three either side. This might be able to be pulled away now. I'm going to give it a go. It's off. Just have to unplug the two horns on the inside. One there, one there. With the bumper removed, I can now take out the headlamps. Yeah, that's going on eBay. Now that the bump and the headlamps are off, I want to pull this front wing off. Now there's two bolts just inside here. The only way to get to them is by removing this plastic trim, which goes the whole length of the car. There's a series of bolts that run underneath, and then there's this plastic trim on the top here that covers up some more screws. Now this is already broken, so I can't salvage it and I can't sell it. So I could pull it up quite hard like that. I wasn't really bothered about breaking it. But just inside, I'll bring the camera in in a minute. Just inside there's some screws, so we're going to undo those now. You just need to peel back this plastic trim. It's actually uh, glued or taped to the bodywork. But once you pull this up, it exposes the screws, which run all the way along. With the screws undone, I can now pull away the plastic trim and I can now get to those two screws to hold the wing to the body of the car. I'll just undo all the bolts all the way along the top, in there, in there, and this wing should pull away from the car. With the wing gone, we can really have a good look inside this wheel arch. 
Yeah. All sorts of uh, weird and wonderful things. I don't know what this blue doodad thing here is. I don't know what it does. With this one done, it's now time to do the other side. I'll do that one off camera. This one was a little bit more tricky because it had this, uh, it looks like a charcoal canister or something tucked inside there and there's also an extra bracket that lives in there. I think on the other side it was damaged and smashed and long gone but uh, yeah there's supposed to be a plastic bracket that holds this trim on that connects to the front wing. Now both wings are off or for you Yanks watching fenders. Now both fenders are off, I think I'll pull the hinges off here and have a tidy up, get the wheels back on, push it back into my carport. exactly know where I'm going to put all this stuff. Oh. Right, with the wheels back on, I think it's time for you lot to watch me try and push this thing back into the carport. Here we go. Oh, hang on a minute. It's still the first. <laughs> Be a bit easier now. Adams fall apart. Come on! Oh. Solar flares erupt. Come on, come on, come on! No! Buildings collapse. Come on! Oh, oh, Jesus! Oh, yeah! The world has me knowing. Will no longer be there. Be there. Water. It's a little bit lighter, but not by much. So anyway, I think that'll do. I'm hungry. It didn't rain. So I'm going to get some bacon and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs> That's going on the end credits. <laughs> yeah, because it's full, isn't it? <laughs>